Okay, I'm about to set my card up to start my day of work at Nazareth Home. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get 25 of these smaller blue uh, mop heads, and these are used in shower in our in our shower rooms. Okay, I'm going to get 25 of them. Okay, and they go in this in this square gray container. This is our biggest uh, our biggest container besides the mop the mop one down below. Okay, what I'm about to do now is get my fiber active active mops together uh, for cleaning. Uh, residence rooms and general areas okay now what i do is i start off with a red one then i'll put a, a green one and that's how i get it going so i'll know when i'm cleaning that the the green the green ones are for the residence rooms and the red ones are for bathrooms only And I'll get 15 right now to start with. And then what after that, after lunch, when I bring the dirty ones down, I'll get my, I need 25 in all, and I'll get the other 10. Okay, now these are going into the mop bucket. This is this is sort of our what you would consider our mop bucket. And, and as you can see, they're red and green. Red and green. Bathrooms, rooms. That's how it should be done. Okay, the blue microfiber rags are for the living space only. The red ones that I have right here are for bathrooms only. All right, here on my cart is the bottom drawer, which contains which is very important is my QT. This is our disinfectant for rooms and general areas. And also in here is the Windex that we clean all our mirrors and stuff with. And these are the soaps that we put in general areas and residence rooms. And this is to keep their hands clean, sanitized. Hand sanitizer, I mean hand clean. Okay, and the rest in here is uh, different size bags which we'll be using for general areas and residence rooms. Finishing up, setting up my cart to start my day. Okay, now I have my hand sanitizer, which this is very important. Okay, and I also, I'm opening up the top cart, which will have my toilet paper and my towel paper. Which is used on the uh, in the residence rooms and general areas. Okay. 
I'm going in into our, our janitor's closet here, the housekeeping closet, and it has our arsenal unit, and which holds all of our chemicals. This here is our QT3, which is used to clean all general areas and residence rooms. And what I'm about to do is fill up my container here with it. QT3 should always be locked up when not in use. In our carts, on our carts and locked up. Okay. And in here, you'll see it's our Windex. And it doesn't need filling up. But also, Next, I'm going to show y'all the top clean in which we use on all the floors in residence rooms and general areas. Bottom one here is a disinfected cleaner for all residence restrooms and general areas. Restrooms. Cleaner here. It has lines to show how many mops that, that go into the mop container here. Now what we do is we put our mop solution in here compared to how many mops that are in the mop container here. You could have 15, 20, 30, even goes all the way up to 60. Okay, now as far as cleaning our rooms, we use top clean. Okay, now what I'm getting ready to do gotta make sure that's on there. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay, I'm Putting the holes in here, and I have 15 fiber active mops on my cart. So I'm going to fill this up to the level. To the level. It, it doesn't have 15, but I'm going up to 16. And once you get there, then you stop. Then I come and I pour it evenly on top of all the mops that I have in my mop bucket. That's that. Okay, my cart is fully stocked and ready for today's work. Now, I also have over here is a bag for a bag for my mop heads and a bag for my soil rags that I use far as cleaning the rooms. There's a blue one here I used in the, the living areas of the residence. 
And also, the red one here I use, which goes in this bag, they go together. And this is for bathrooms only. I'm about to clean a residence room. rag. Okay, now the first thing that I do when cleaning the bathroom is I spray this is uh, this is our main chemical the QT3 that I use in the bathroom and also in the living, her living area. Okay, then I'm gonna spray the toilet area, bathroom area, the toilet. Okay, now this also has to set for three minutes. That's the kill time. And I spray down all areas, touch areas, that I believe that the resident is touching when she is in her room. her seat up because that's where it needs to be cleaned the most. Okay, I'm, and also I spray down her shower. Okay, now I'm going to let this set for three minutes. I'm going to empty the trash, the trash. I'm going to grab this and empty it. And her, her toilet paper is awful low, so I'm going to pull it and put a fresh roll. Don't want to run it out of toilet paper. Okay. And I'm also emptying her trash in her living room. QT time to do its job. QT3 is killing all the germs if there's any in here. And I'm going to put a bag back in here in the can here. Garbage can. I put a fresh roll of toilet paper on her dispenser. 
Now, I believe that three minutes has went by, so I'm going to start wiping down. I'm going to start wiping it off. cleaner for all bathrooms, all the toilets. The Jimmy mop that we clean the inside of the toilet with. And I also spray, sprayed QT3 inside here and it's set for the three minute kill time. Okay, this is, I'm cleaning the touch areas, the most touch areas is the handle. So I'm wiping, I've already sprayed my QT and it's three minutes kill time. And so I'm wiping everything off. Okay. Wiping down after it's been disinfected. Okay, I'm about to uh, get rid of my uh, my disinfected Jimmy mop and also this rag that I just cleaned the bathroom with. And I also have to take my gloves off and, and sanitize my hands. put on a fresh pair of gloves. Okay, this is my mop handle. And I've got the red fiber active mop. And this is for mopping the bathroom. Bathrooms only. Changing my gloves, sanitizing my hand, my hands, and putting on fresh gloves. Okay. 
This is what we use to clean the shower rooms in the residence rooms. Okay, now I'm changing my gloves, sanitizing my hand, my hands, and putting on fresh gloves. Okay, I'm a, I'm about to clean the mirror in her room. Spray my Windex. And I, I'll use a few of the towel papers. My Windex, locking it up, which all chemicals are supposed to be locked up on the cart when not in use. And I'm changing my gloves. hand sanitizing my hands once again. Gotta, ha gotta keep them hands clean. Okay. Now, what I'm about to do now, new pair of gloves. Get my QT. QT3. Okay, I do I do do the door handles and and part of the door. All I think are touch areas that the resident have touched while she's in her room. And also the light switches, I'll spray it down with it. I spray her door handles to her dress I mean, closet. Okay, I am spraying my QT3 disinfectant spray. And it has a kill time of three minutes for all germs. Okay, and I'll let this, let this set for three minutes before I wipe it down. And we'll do the whole door handle, the whole door too. So that's really getting it clean like it, mm -hmm. like it should be. Okay, and also, Switch. Okay, I am spraying, disinfecting all the touch areas. I even spray the window seals out. Spray them. Okay. And I also spray the recliner. That's if the resident is not in the room at the time to disinfect it. And what I do is just let this set and air dry.
bed rails should be sprayed down. Also, the remote control, because that's being touched. All touch areas is what I'm spraying down. Door handles and the doors. Get this one. Nope. Also, the chairs in the room should be sprayed down too. Blue rag, this is for wiping down living room areas only. So I am wiping down the, the three QT disinfected. And also, we do not, we do not soak any of our rags because that is not properly the way to clean a room with because you have to spray it and it'll have to set for three minutes and then you wipe it down. Do not soak rags. <laughs> check my hand sanitizer and making sure which this one is low. No, it's not. No, it's not. And this one's okay. I checked it to make sure it's working properly. Sanitizing my hands. Okay. Now, that's my mop handle. And the green mop heads is what we clean the residents living living area, living room with.
with the green mop head. And as you can tell, there is a lot of dust. And it goes into the bag with the red mop and the blue mop. sanitizing my hands afterwards, which has to be done throughout the day, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> so James Brown, how long have you been with Nazareth Home? Uh, 41 years. Wow. So after watching you clean that room, is it safe to say in between rooms you don't have a lot of downtime? Uh, no, sir. I do not have a lot of downtime. Gotcha. Well, I think you did a great job in that room, and I appreciate what you do every day here, man. And thank, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.